Uh, so good afternoon, happy New Year. It's uh, the second of January, twenty thirteen. Uh, what I'm going to do? I'm going to start doing an entrepreneurial series, uh, talking about what I've learned as an entrepreneur and what I've learned about the human factor in business. Uh, I think the most valuable thing uh, in a business is the human factor. If you want to go in business for yourself, the most relevant thing is that you find something that you really enjoy. Uh, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, don't do it, especially as an entrepreneur. I think that the only way out of the world economic crisis is for people to start having ideas, seeing if they can sell the ideas, and then make money with the ideas, and then spend the money and enjoy their lives. <clears throat> but uh, too many people have ideas, basically. And they think, oh, this will be a great idea for business. And they try it out, and it doesn't work, and they don't understand why. And it's not their essence. It's not, it's not what pulls them to their dream or pulls their dream to them. As far as the basics of entrepreneurial uh, organizational stuff, I think Gerber is probably the best. I have not done his uh, coaching program, just to let you know. I've done a lot of things. I'm impressed with Michael's work. I don't know him. Uh, <clears throat> what he writes... Uh, he writes real similarly uh, to what I believe and what I read a few years ago in the, one of the financial uh, magazines was that even though just before the big uh, crash in the dot-com markets, the entrepreneurs that were coming out of Silicon Valley, was, it was incredible the number of millionaires it was producing in a short period of time. And this article said regardless of what, how much money these entrepreneurs made, their drive wasn't for the money. And if you read Steve Jobs... Uh, autobiography, which I am, uh, they, it too says that uh, he didn't seem to be concerned about the money. He would do things for the money, but, but there were many other things that concerned him. And this article said that it was the entrepreneur's drive for self-actualization, for finding themselves, for uh, a life with meaning, basically, and that uh, that was their drive more so than the millions of dollars. There was also a consultant who went in to work with people on how to handle their newfound wealth. Uh, if they become wealthy overnight, uh, but he basically said, uh, if you're an asshole before you have money, and by that he means, for me, most entrepreneurs are assholes. They have to be to live their dream. They have to say to people, look, this is the way it is. And mo a lot of people will say, well, he's such an asshole. But what he's talking about is the, is the mean, vindictive people that uh, just hurt people with their assholeness. And he said, if you're an asshole before you start your business, and if you're an asshole before you become a millionaire, you'll be a bigger one. And he screens his clients and does not deal with the assholes because he said it's not worth it. They're, they've just gotten money just to be mean and, and continue on. They're in culture, they're so steeped in their enculturation that they believe that that's who they are. Then they continue in their, um, that manner. So I'm going to look at uh, the most relevant thing, I think, in an entrepreneurial endeavor. Uh, first of all, the human factor. If you're going to start a business that you love, and then you want to continue to love that business, you're going to have to do the parts that you love in the business and learn to turn all the other stuff over to somebody else. If you are not willing to have fun in your business, if that is not a motivation to you, then these series are not going to be interesting to you. You might as well shut them off because that's what I look at. If you're going to have a business, if you're going to start a business, you have to do what's fun for you. And if you can figure out how to generate money and how to make people have fun with you, then I think you're ahead of the game. So I'm going to do a series on it. I'm going to uh, be with you. Uh, if you have questions about the entrepreneurial game, let me know. I have played it since I was in my 20s, uh, out of no choice, being a chiropractor. Uh, I had to open my own business uh, because I couldn't work for anybody else. I really could have, but it, circumstances led to me opening my own business. And I worked for the biggest asshole on the planet. That would be me. So I've got a lot of input. Uh, I think my next book is going to be rule number one, the entrepreneur has fun. Because uh, if they don't, it's not worth doing the business, I don't think. www.micpeakperformance.com